I'm here with Hiroyuki Imaishi, which one is, hi, nice to meet you. Sir. And Atsushi Nishigori, right, how are you doing? Yes, I sometimes do projects for, for other companies outside of Gynex. Yes, uh, sometimes I also do work for companies outside of Gynax if they sound interesting. And Gynax is a, a company that gives us a fair amount of freedom to choose what projects we want to work on independently. Well, since since Evangelion uh, came out, we've had a lot of new uh, a lot of new people join the company, and I feel like their sort of younger perspective has tended to shift things. So uh, you see those changes in in series like um, Good and Lagan. Uh, it really reflects that kind of um, generational uh, shift. And of course, um, with the the long-standing presence of of Anno, who is one of the founders of. Uh, of Gynax, um, I would say the change probably started to happen about 10 years ago. Well, uh, so I've I've been uh, involved with Gynax um, for about the last decade, and uh, of course, around the time when I came in is around the time of the shift um, that Imaishi-san was talking about. It was when a lot of the the founders were kind of relinquishing control to some of the younger generation, and the younger generation was starting to ask ourselves, okay, what are we going to do with this with this company? How are we going to put our talents together to create some new stuff? So I would say if there's one thing that really marks our newer generation. Uh, I would say it's our willingness to pursue all kinds of directions in our production and, and creative work. Since after uh, Evangelion, uh, around from around that time, um, we've been producing a lot of quiet main characters and we felt like this was something that that pleased viewers and people kind of enjoyed seeing there was a tendency to avoid uh, characters main characters with too strong of personalities um, and this this went on for probably about 10 years after the the original um, Evangelion and then we kind of felt like it was about time for a change there was just sort of a of a, a general shift in the in the feeling and the atmosphere and uh, we wanted to give main characters whose worldviews and way of thinking was sort of powerful that demonstrated that sort of masculine strength and it's not like this has never been done before if you think about it um, 20 years 30 years back um, anime did feature main characters like this but it sort of disappeared for a while so we in a certain sense were bringing it back. Well, basically, I, I agree with um, what Imaishi said. Um, I feel like with Evangelion, Gainax kind of gained a reputation as putting stuff out there that was a little twisted, a little cynical, kind of not, you know, not straightforward. And so we, we thought that we'd like to change that actually with Guren Lagan, that we would put something out there that, that doesn't, you know, curve too radically and, uh, and that would be something a little more um, uh, consistent. <laughs> For me, a real man is one that never abandons his beliefs, that always, always sticks to his guns. <laughs> In other words, a man unlike Imaishi-san. <laughs> <laughs>